Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So, I think I want to go to Ulta. I wanted to grab some new um, drugstore products. I really wanted to grab the ELF, the new ELF foundation, but girl, I already um, ordered it. I'm just waiting for it. When I ordered it, it wasn't in stores yet. But anyway, so that's what we're gonna do today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Friday. So yep, like, make, comments tell your friends subscribe help a newbie out i would so so appreciate your support and thank you so so much for helping me grow this channel and now without further ado let's go to ulta all right guys so we're off i'm all janked up i just got my roots done my hair is all janked up it's so hot out my hair got frizzy of course as soon as i got out of the salon and my glasses all janked up i have no makeup on but anyway i've been wanting to do a drugstore um, an all drugstore, like a full face of an all drugstore. So I grabbed the, um, hello, excuse me, thank you, dance at your wedding, bows with my toes, thank you. I wanted to do a video, of course, with the new e.l.f. foundation, and I ordered it because when I ordered it, and I don't know when this video is going to go up, because when I ordered it, it wasn't in stores yet. And actually, I got to tell you right now, I'm not even sure if it's in stores now, but the moral of the story is, is as I was thinking about it, I wanted to do a video about some new drugstore products, but I said, darn it, that means I'm not going to have the e.l.f. Um, in time. So I figured, girl, it's okay. I have other videos I can put up. But in the meantime, I'll wait for the ELF uh, Foundation because, like I said, I ordered it off their website. And, um, yeah, so then I'm going to go to Ulta because I think I, there's a few drugstore products that are brand new um, that I want to incorporate in this full face. So off we go. Dokes, guys a few days later but here i am i did end up going to ulta i grabbed and i'll show you in a minute but in the meantime while i was waiting yes ma'am these little lovers came in so let me just show you what i got p.s we're gonna do uh, as i was waiting for these and i said well let me just go to ulta to see what i can find i figured let's just do a full face of drugstore makeup so that's what we're gonna do so what i did grab although this is not drugstore so i think i'm gonna put it in a different video but these fabulous like morphe cream blushes these are the euphoric rush um blushes this is a three-in-one silk blush and i got it in hypnotized and then i also grabbed which we're gonna use in this video these are the new nyx butter melt blushes i picked up this again coral girl what is your freaking problem but i digress it's summertime 
it's summertime. I grabbed that, and then of course I also grabbed the buttermelt bronzer. No clue as to what color I got. Um, uh, this is the 03, I guess, Deserve Butter. No clue, but we're gonna look these up. So anyway, so I figured let's just do a full face of drugstore makeup. So that is what we're gonna be doing. My, um, my eyes are on. I did a combination of uh, the Wet n Wild In Love with Cocoa Palette. I haven't grabbed this one in a minute. And then I also used the shimmer on the lid and the white um, from the Jason Wu. Love, love, love this eyeshadow. But anyway, got that. And of course, you know my essence girl. You know how I feel about it. So I got, um, so I just have that on for now. Anywho, let's let's carry on, shall we? Let me just put my hairdo back. Put the wig back. No, it's not a wig. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, dokie. So we put the hairdo back. I am like so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like so super excited. So these are the new e.l.f. I grabbed two, by the way, because I didn't know. This is the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation Medium Buildable Coverage Long Lasting 1% Hydrating Hibiscus complex so here they are right here this one right over here is 25 light neutral and then this one over here is 31 medium neutral i have all my face moisturizer on and all that jazz but you know normally i um i have been mixing look at this friggin' hair girl holy shishka bibble um but lately i have been mixing my physician's formula butter bronzing drops which i have been loving you know that guys i have only been mentioning it a million times but anyway i have been mixing that with um my face moisturizer on but girl mm -mm, not when we're doing foundations absolutely not i want to just check it out fair and square nothing on so i just have regular face moisturizer on let's read up on these little lovers shall we so these are the ps they're eight dollars eight freaking dollars go figure i love elf love 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 this is a medium buildable coverage foundation with a satin finish which i think is so so beautiful especially on mature skin matte I can't do it. Maybe you guys can do it that you guys are older with like a different complexion, but mine is like normal. You know, it's a little bit shiny in the summer, a little bit dry in the winter, but like, I, I don't know what normal means, but that's what it means uh, for me. But anyway, let's see here. It is a long lasting hydrating liquid foundation that delivers just right medium buildable coverage and a satin finish. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's long lasting. Um, it, uh, it's long lasting, breathable form. It doesn't look or feel cakey. I love it. Um, in, including with the 1% hydrating hibiscus complex. It also has pomegranate, blueberry, and goji berry extracts, non comedogenic, meaning it won't clog your pores, girl. Available in 13 shades uh and wide ranged skin tones yeah like i'm neutral i'm a neutral girl so i went right down the neutral if you go onto their website i don't know if you're going to be able to see that but like all up here it's got like all cool neutral or warm girl like i know i'm not warm so i'm not even going to bother i just hit the button i go into cool and then these are the colors that are in the cool zone so that's what i did girl i got a medium neutral and then i got a light neutral like i'm like really like now even though it's hot as blazes out, girl, I haven't sat in the sun and I don't really enjoy it anymore as much as I used to. Um, but this is it. I'll probably self tan, of course, during the summertime. And I'll do like a little bit of sunbathing. Um, but, you know, normally like light medium is like my regular like skin tone. And then like come summertime is like a medium. So I wish there was like a light medium, but there isn't. There's only a light, light neutral it's like light medium i wish it was like something right in between great for dry oily and combination skin hits that dreamy sweet spot between full beat and barely there i love it long wear okay cool i'm so stinking excited let's dive right on in okay so this one is do i do i have to shake it i'm gonna shake it anyway is it shakeable no it feels kind of thick so this one is the light neutral so let's investigate it smells like nothing I love this packaging. It gives me like really good control and it's pretty thick. So right over here, that is, that's the light neutral. Let's just, that looks freaking dark. Wait a minute. Is that light neutral? Yeah. I don't know, Elf. That's light neutral. See, like on the screen, it's like, girl, why are you crazy? It looks fine. But looking down here, wow, that is dark. And then this one's the medium. Uh oh. Okay, for me personally, I could be cray cray. So this is the medium, obviously. This is the light. They both look dark as hell. Like, here's the thing. 
the light looks peachy this one looks more neutral but it's dark should we mix the two you know what we're gonna do halt to the name of the law i'm gonna just grab whatever i have on my hand and i'm gonna just check out the situation see like this over here forget the neck because it's freaking so light and then the chest is normal this looks very peachy and then i'm going to take the medium dark on it put it over here and that's dark as hell see this is why i had the other elf product let me go get it okay so like this is why i'm not really a fan per se of like elf like foundations because like this elf this is the elf cc cream i just can't find the right shade i mean and i even have this one was in yeah light 210n and it was again it's like peachy what am i gonna do i'm gonna definitely have to go with the light because this one is way too dark yeah all right bummer dude so i may have to return this but i don't know if i could maybe i'll just give it to my sister because she's dark actually you know what i'll give it to my daughter because she's got darker skin than me hmm all right let's go with the light we're gonna have to figure it out obviously take it down the neck so i'm going to just put like about that much and I think what I'm going to do is I have, uh, hmm, this is, I don't know, guys. And I haven't seen anybody's, I take that back. I think I saw somebody's and she really loved it. I can't remember who I watched. I'm going to take this damp sponge. You know what? Let's do the sponge on one side. And then we'll take a brush on the other. Because, I mean, with the sponge, obviously, it looks like it's, like, barely there. I think this is too wet. Let me take my favorite foundation um, brush. This is the BK Beauty 106. And let's just try it over here. Yeah, with the sponge, I kind of took it all away. Oh, and I also have my eyebrows on. It's the e.l.f. Insta Brow, which I love. You guys know that. Yeah, I think I like it better with the brush. That is pretty, though. I think I, I, I don't think I rang this one out enough because it just feels... I don't know. I hate when videos start like this. I'm like, oh. So let's go back in. I'm going to just dot again tiny bit on the nose and I'm going to just go in with a brush leave me some comments below have you guys picked this up and what do you guys think about it it is pretty though and out of curiosity how are you putting it on are you using a brush or are you using a sponge Okay, that is so pretty though. I really love that finish. Mm. This is a five times mirror. <sighs> Listen, if you're in a bad mood, don't use it. Girl, you could see stuff that you never thought you had. Okay, that is really pretty though. The finish is gorge. Right? Let me I'm gonna take a little bit more, and I will tell you now that it's on the face, it looks a lot better. Hmm. I almost want to say I'm going to just take what I just put on just to go down the neck so it matches. <laughs> Forget behind your ears if your hair is up. What do you guys think? I'm going to come super close to you. I think it's pretty. Don't mind the hair over here. I just threw in some dry shampoo. I'm like, girl, you spent $5 billion to get the gray out of your hair. And now it's got like a white cast, shadowy kind of thing. This is pretty. Let me just, I have my little Ricky Skinny right over here. I just want to put my light on for one second just so I can really see. Okay, I feel like it's a little bit cakey over here. But it could be because I put too much on. 
that's really nice okay this finish is so pretty really really pretty i'm going to just do a little spot concealing i like it i almost now want to throw on the medium just for the hell of it all right here's the deal i'm not going to give it to her just yet the summer barely started so it's very pretty i was a little nervous i don't know what the hell is going on over here like i'm breaking out what i grabbed is the nyx this is the nyx bear with me concealer and this one is in what i think i have this one in light so we're going to obviously use it under the eyes and I think what I'm going to do is I may mix the concealer with maybe the medium, just to spot conceal like over here. And of course, this product is not new. You guys know that. And let's see here. I'm going to grab a brush. I love this concealer. It is, I mean, I know it's light. Calm it down, sister. Just calm it. I'm telling you about the consistency. It's so creamy. Perfect, perfect for mature under eyes. I think it's so damn good. It leaves your under eyes so hydrated. I never get any kind of cakiness or anything like that with that with this um, concealer. It's so beautiful. Now, here's the deal, girl. I know it's light. It's okay. Go in with whatever tool that you used for bronzer, foundation contouring and just go super de duper close or even right under the eye so whatever you have left over whatever product you have you have left over it just blends you, you it blends right on in okay delicious so what i think i'm going to do is i have this left over i think what i'm going to do is take the medium just a dot i'm going to just mix it in well how do you get a freaking pimple right on your cheek here at 56 years old and I'm not a bright I'm not a breaker outer like I I've never had like acne as a kid mm, it's too light oh well you know I never had acne as a kid I never had any kind of skin problem although I do have some kind of scarring so obviously of picking back in the day so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go back in with the foundation brush. I'm going to just start patty pat patting. Okie dokies. This looks so freaking pretty. This is the new NYX Professional Makeup Butter Melt Bronzer. This packaging is so stinking cute. Let me just look this up real quick so we could share together its information. Listen, I have always told you how much I absolutely love drugstore mascara. But let me tell you, drugstore, mm -mm, girl, it's not the way it used to be. It is so, so good. You And if you've followed me for a while, and I hope you do, and if you don't, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, tell your family, help a newbie out. I would love for you guys to subscribe. So I really hope you do. But um, I have always said I just struggle a lot with um, drugstore eyeshadow products, although those are beautiful. But other than like the eyeshadow, I think they're blushes, bronzers, highlighters, eyeliners mascaras i think they're so so fantastic so so fantastic show me something new what you got girl so let me see this is a new vegan best seller i see it all over the place but i got uh the deserve butter is light medium neutral and then they have let me see they have one two three four five six seven eight shades really really nice okay so this is um the butter bronzer butter blend butter boom ah okay girl i get it so get this sun soaking bronzed look and stay buttered up all day long the butter melt bronzer blends like powder and glides like ooh, like pure butter i love it this formula melts into the skin delivering um buttered up bronzed finish and a silky smooth that's cute and a silky smooth skin that ne that's never muddy patchy or orange true to skin bronzing for a sun soaked bronze all year round oh i love it it's fade and transfer resistant um it lasts up to 12 hours um eight shades oh it's a soft glow shade mm, we'll see infused with mango butter shea butter and almond butter so so how to apply bring mm -hmm, sweep on the uh -huh, with it okay but the, mm -hmm, apply circular mode. great fantastic but let's open up this little lover right over here it's just got like some paper right over here do i just pop it what do i do with it okay so you just it's just like a little right over here it looks like a cute little like mini suitcase right Ooh, 
that's really nice. I was expecting a mirror here. I'm not going to lie. That That's really beautiful. I don't know about... <laughs> mm, it's got like that physician's formula scent. <sighs> you know I do not like scents in my products. Why? Why do you guys put scents in here? <clears throat> don't do it, girl. Don't do it. Where is my bronzing brush i don't have my normal brush here but we're going to use the bk beauty this is the 108 it's nice and fluffy it's got that dome shape let's just watch this first before it's so cute you know how i feel about packaging look at those little ridges can you see that very buttery and delish that's pretty it feels so nice does it have like a little shimmer to it i'm going to just blend it in look how pretty it looks on the hand though Let's go. All right, I'm gonna, ooh, it's very, very powdery. Can you see that? So if that bothers you, it bothers you. If not, it won't. For me, I really don't care. Let's go light. Wow. I don't think I like this brush. For it, it picked up a lot. So, all right, let me just go get my regular brush. Dang it. Okie dokes, I grabbed my Ruffer 05. These are natural um, bristles. So you have to be very, very careful. This is very, very pigmented. I'm totally surprised about that. I'm gonna go lightly. That is so beautiful though. Wow, that is so pretty. Look at that. Wow, that is so gorgeous. I'm surprised because I did not, wow. I did not think that these were so pigmented. Now I have to super de duper be careful with the blush. This is so pretty. Wow, that is beautiful. Wow, I'm really impressed. That is so pigmented. Be super, super careful. Can't stand the smell. Mm. You can't, mm -mm. do not like the smell at all. It's beautiful. I really, really love this color. I have to be honest, I'm not really sure if I'm liking the way this foundation is laying. Don't, don't judge. Like, I don't like it over my nose. But here's the thing, if I tap it on the, my nose like I did, like I put the product on my nose, it's too friggin' much. I can't do that. I just have to put like whatever is left remaining over the bridge. It's just too much on my nose. All right, well, let, let's, let's halt. Let's go in with this delicious blush, same concept. This is um, Head Butter. This is a vivid orange. <sighs> what were you thinking, girl? What were you thinking? And I'm going to assume it's got the same properties, the same... Oh my God. I'm going to take this BK Beauty uh, 112. Let's watch it first. Oof. That is so friggin' orange. But it is pretty though. I mean, this is what it looks like. It's very, very pigmented. But when you blend it out, it is beautiful. Let me just keep on blending that. Look how pretty that is. Okay, listen. It's going to be okay. I'm going to just tap. You see all that? And then I'm going to tap it on my hand. And then I'm going to go in. So let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty. That's really, really pretty. Go figure, it matches my eyeshadow. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Mm hmm. That's gorgeous. Again, you think you got too much on? Go back in with the foundation brush, go around the perimeter, and just blend that bad boy in. That is so pretty. Mm hmm. That's gorgeous. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. Listen, the rest of the stuff here, nothing new. Nothing new. But we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder under the eyeballs. And I'm going to just set the under eyes. Lightly. Just real light. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild um, In Love With Cocoa just to go underneath. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty, right? I like it. That's really pretty, right? Oh, I love that. Curl my lashes. You know how much I've been loving this. This is the Maybelline Sky High. I did a video about um, 
Nothing new. I think I did a video full face of nothing new. Re fell in love with this little lover right over here. I have to be careful though. Although I love this freaking um, wand because it's so like flimsy. I'll show you. Like it's so like blood. I don't know why rubber bristles. And this is like a combination. But I don't know why rubber bristles. I always poke my eye out. pretty right okay so that is that so we just have to do the lips smackings and I just have a little bit of lip balm on listen I don't know how we ended up with all elf but here we are I'm going to use the elf lip liner and this is it what who the hell could see I think this says mauve oh geez louise this says mauve what what the hell does that say I don't know what the hell it says but I'll leave it linked below but I'm gonna just um, use this as my lip liner. And I don't know if you guys have tried these e.l.f. lip products. This is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine. They are so beautiful. I have this one in Joyful. Let me just swatch it for you. It is, look at, first of all, look how freaking cute. It's got the little heart in the middle, but it is so gorgeous. It's got just a really sheer tint. Shiny as all get up. Look how pretty that is, right? While I'm here, I might as well just show you the liner. Wow, look how beautiful. So gorgeous. Okay, I got you. It's called Mauve Aside. Mm -hmm. Let's line the lips. How beautiful is that? I want to just blend this in. Please do not lose the lid, or else you'll never know what the hell the color is. That is so pretty. Look how nice that is when it's nice and blended it real nice and soft. And then of course, love, love, love these. So pretty, so, so pretty. I mean, look at that shine. It's gorgeous. Okay, so that is it. Let me just put my hairdo down and let's assess the situation, eh? That is so pretty. I'm not used to like warm, um, color scheme but that is so pretty right Ooh, the lips kind of don't match but it's okay it's all right because honestly i'm trying to test this little lover out right over here so let me just look i'm going to just put on my light again it's going to distort it and let me just look yes a little cakey across my nose but again it has nothing to do with the product i just know like my nose i can't physically put like a dollop of anything on my nose so let me see if i could just blend that bad boy out it is kicking right over here but again i have dry patches on the side of my mouth so i'm not going to do anything i love the forehead see here's what's interesting is that my forehead is kind of dry especially between my eyes but the forehead looks amazing right should we do a little bit of powder i don't think so it's really, really beautiful. I will tell you honestly, it's a little bit more glowy to me on my skin than the satin claims. To me, I don't think it's, well, here's the thing. On the forehead, it looks very glowy, but the rest of it looks pretty satiny. And I don't wanna say it's a little bit too shiny because I love a glow. I just think it's more than a satin on my skin. I, I can't do a wear test today because right after this um, video, I have to do another video. I'm going away for a couple days, so I want to see if I can get as much um, footage in as I can because I don't want to miss, like, I don't want you guys to miss anything while I'm gone. But um, we're going to definitely use this again because it does say long lasting. All right, guys, so this is it. A full face of all drugstore makeup. Some new, let's see here. This is beautiful this is just as beautiful this i'm not really sure yet i'm on the fence about it i will let you know p.s just be careful these are very pigmented should we put a little bit more blush on i don't think so but i you know i like the apples of my cheeks to have a little bit of something something so we're going to just go with the apples and um, yeah so this is it i think it came out so so pretty love these products i think i'm gonna have to go back and get um another color these are beautiful but anyway so that is it this is my video i think it came out so so nice thank you so so much for sharing your time with me and as always you guys be good to each other love each other and have a great great day bye